It's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media in the building with my associates, 3kings.com. I'm standing here with the former junior welterweight champion of the world, my man Swift Jerry Hurd, about to do his thing tonight at the Barclays Center versus Francisco Santana. You changed up your camp. You had a new trainer now. What can the fans expect from me now? You've been away. Everybody decided to get you back in the ring. I've been like, damn, where heard it? Tell them what they can expect tonight with all these changes, champ. Uh, man, you know, you usually expect me to dominate early. You know, I usually start slow um, and try to play catch up in the second half of the fight. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to try my best, you know, to, to win this thing with a, a, for a landslide. Impressive. Impressive. There you yes, go. sir. I don't want to uh, play catch up. Now, I know we was talking the other day about Julian Williams. He's old news now. And Julian's a hell of a fighter. He'll bounce back. He's been in that position before. Right. God bless him and his family. After this fight, this W tonight, would you say you would have to grade yourself on your performance after being off so long before you decide to say, hey, Big Al, let's go after getting the undisputed belts back versus Rosario? Or would that be something you and your team would have to discuss after tonight? After tonight, because like I said, you know, I always wanted to rematch with J-Rock. Yeah. That was my plan to get my belts back. Everybody wanted that. Yes, exactly. Everybody so after wanted you fight, to get it back the way you lost it there you from go, him. There you go. There you go. So after this fight, that was the plan. But since he lost, it's such a big mix-up. I don't know, man. You know, we heard Julian Williams say after the fight, uh, it's a rematch clause. So I'm going to say it again. So I don't know how it's going to work out, man. I don't know if they're going to have you go after Jamil Charlo. I don't know if they're going to have to go be Rosario. I don't know how it's going to work. So whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. That'd be a hell of a fight with you and Charlo, too. Oh, yeah, man. Listen, that'd I just be, want the ooh. best. And I won the belts, that's all. And that's why I be trying to tell everybody. You wearing the strap that right. says you're the elite in the world. Right. Don't give me no has-been, tomato can opponents. There you go. Yeah, Bring yeah. me the best, because I'm go. supposed to be the best. Exactly. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what's more, uh, uh, man, my coach of the season, our first time working together, he wanted to yeah. go to a fight that ass tough, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, to see how we work at the same. Real quick, before I let you go. Wilder, Fury 2, who you picking, why, and what must they do to win? Uh, I'm definitely going with my man Wilder, man. But what he do, must do to win, he can't sit back and wait like he did against OT for that one shot. Yeah. I know his favorite saying is, man, they got to be perfect for 12 rounds. Right. All I got to do is be perfect for one second. Yes. But with, with Fury, he can't do that. You know, he got to let his hands go with some of the rounds and not just with a one shot. My man, I want to thank you for this time. My man about to do his thing. I caught him in, interrupted his lunch, and he was so kind to give me this interview. Oh, yeah, Real quick, man. I want you to just tell him who you are and that they're watching Brawler Sports Media from the champ. What's up, man? It's Swift Jarrett Her, former unified champion of the world, and you watch a brawler. What is it called? Sports media. You watch a brawler sports media, baby. Let's get it. My man, it's your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawler Sports Media, Three Kings Associate, 2020, doing what we do. Till tonight, I have more coverage at the event. Let's go, champs! Let's get it. <laughs>